Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to another awesome video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can screen mirror your iPhone, any iPhone by the way, to your Samsung TV. Completely free, no need to download any third party apps. It is everything is built into it. I'm not using any third party apps to mirror this iPhone. As you can see, it's working in the dynamic island as well. So if I just click on that, you can see it's gonna ask for you. You can see you can start mirroring from the dynamic island. So basically, so basically everything is just built inside your iPhone and will work with any iPhone you have. It's completely free, it's wireless and it's actually, and it's really smooth. I mean, you can see that. You can even use your camera if you want to. Right there, I'm zoom in, take a photo. I can open up the photo, I can zoom in on a photo and you can see it's being zoomed in on my TV. It's completely free, it's pretty awesome. So let's just dive right into it. Hey, what is going on, everybody? All right, so before we, let me just unlock my iPhone. Okay, so now the first thing you wanna do on your iPhone, as I said, this tutorial is really, really simple. So the first thing you wanna do on your iPhone is to go to your settings page. Now inside the settings, you have a couple options. Just go into the Wi-Fi settings and make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. That is really, really important. All right, so in this case, I'm just gonna make sure my iPhone is connected to my home Wi-Fi. But let's just say if you don't have home Wi-Fi, you don't have to worry about it you can always use your mobile services, mobile hotspot basically. So just be careful Just be careful with the mobile hotspot. It's not free, it might cost you credit, so just be careful with it. I would not recommend it, so just be careful. All right, so now that's pretty much it. As I said before, you don't have to download anything because everything is built into it. So just to give you an example, I'm gonna go into my control center and as you can see, we will be using the screen mirroring feature of your iPhone. Completely free, everything is just built into it, so yeah. Pretty much it, and by the way, it's still being mirrored too right there. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, let, let's just dive right into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do on your Samsung TV is go to your settings page. It should look exactly like this. By the way, this is an old remote control, I'm not using the new just for the sake of this video. So what you wanna do is head over to your menu settings. So just click on the menu and you will get to the menu settings. Now inside the menu, you wanna go into your general settings. Now inside the general settings, you have a couple options. The network settings. Head over to your network settings, and if you have never done this before, click on the network settings, open network settings. Or if you have done this before, you can just check the status of your TV that if it's connected to your Wi-Fi, just click on the network status. So just for the sake of this video, I'll just go into the network settings. Now inside the network settings, you can you have two different options. You can connect your TV to Ethernet cable, or you can do it wirelessly. So in this case, I'm just gonna click on wireless and make sure my TV is connected to my home Wi-Fi. But if you're using your hotspot, make sure your hotspot is disabled. Uh, if you're using your hotspot, make sure, make sure your hotspot is visible in this list. So as you can see, I got my hotspot as well, but that is my home Wi-Fi. I'm just gonna click on my home Wi-Fi and make sure my TV is connected to. As you can see, it is connected to. That's pretty, pretty important. All right, so. As I've said before, make sure your TV and your iPhone are both on the exact same connection. So in this case, as you can see, my iPhone and my TV are both on my home Wi-Fi. That is really, really important for this. Okay, now what you wanna do is head over to, head back to the general settings and find a setting called Apple AirPlay settings. Click on it. Once you click on it, it should ex it should look exactly like this. It should look exactly like this because AirPlay settings on every TV are exactly like this. So, all right. So now once you're on this settings, it's time to mirror your iPhone, any iPhone, by the way, to your Samsung TV completely free. Okay. So now what you want to do is I'm going to use both hands just to, just for the sake of this video. All right. So now what you want to do is to unlock your iPhone first. So let me just unlock it. All right, so now my iPhone and my TV are both on the exact same network. That is important. Now what you wanna do is swipe down. So that's the brightness tad bit. All right, swipe down and you can see the screen mirroring feature right there, right next to the focuses. So just click on that. And you can see the Samsung 8 series right there. That is my TV that is running my background. So what, what am I gonna do is just click on it. And if you're doing this for the first time, just like me, you're gonna see a code and it's gonna, you have to input the code on your iPhone. So my code is 8578. So let me just 8578 and click on okay. And bam, we are connected, fam. It's pretty easy, right? And that's how you screen mirror your iPhone to your Samsung TV. Completely free, you don't have to download any third party apps, works awesomely. And you can even play games if you want to. So in this case, I'm just gonna, open it and you can you can even use your instagram as well by the way be sure to follow tons of great content on instagram as well just took a just just took this photo and you can even 
you can even zoom in if you want to so as you can see it's pretty pretty awesome so yeah got tons of great content on my instagram be sure to follow but as i said before the audio as i said before it's pretty awesome and by the way if you're worried about the audio don't worry about it the audio will be coming from your tv so if i just click on a video i have to mute the audio but the audio is coming from my tv so it's really simple really awesome you can even watch videos you can listen to music you can do whatever you like so in this case i'm just gonna pop up clash of clans just to show you how good it looks on a big big giant screen this is 55 by the way looks great i mean look at this it's just so good <laughs> pretty awesome right well that's pretty much it for the video and uh, if you want to pause this if you want to stop this really simple just click on the dynamic island if you have the dynamic island just hold it and you can ha you have the option to stop mirroring or if you don't want to do that just go to control center click on screen mirroring and click on stop mirroring right there it's pretty pretty simple well that's pretty much it for the video i'm riz and i'll catch you in the next one peace out oh and by the way here's a pro tip every time you want to screen mirror your iphone to your samsung tv you really don't have to enable the uh apple airplay manually every single time and i'm going to show you how it works so let me just exit out of this let me just go back to the tv okay so now i'm back onto the tv go back anyway now, as you can see, the AirPlay is not working in the background. And what you want to do is just make sure your TV and your iPhone are both on the exact same connection. Let's go back to the control center, go to the screen mirroring. And as you can see, it is available as well. So just click on it. And there you go. Pretty simple, right? It's pretty simple. If you want to, if you want to disable, just click on stop mirroring. And that's pretty much it. If you want to mirror again, just click on your TV and bam, we are go. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and comment down below if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's gonna help me a lot. Well, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this video was helpful. And if you need more help, you can comment down below or you can visit the website as well. All the links will be in the description box below. Be sure to check it out. And that's pretty much it. And by the way, again, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.